Hey everybody, it's Sasha or Cutie Fit on Insta. I'm coming at you guys because um, I just made my first video just explaining uh, the saltwater flush experience. If you have a strong stomach, go ahead and watch that video. Um, this is actually going to be day one. Today is August the 27th. It's Thursday, 2015. I'm coming at you guys because I wanted to actually document my juicing feast. Um, I haven't... <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm coughing because of my experience from last video. Um, I haven't actually documented any type of juice fasting, um, juice feasting, cleansing, or water fasting on this particular channel. This will be my primary channel. Um, I am keep saying it, but I'm going to actually delete the other one because I don't go on there at all. I don't even think I have followers. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. But um, pretty much I want to document it. I want to let you guys know what's going on, um, my experience with juice feasting and why I decided to juice. So this video is actually just some of the top reasons why I'm doing this for me and also just some reasons that um, may encourage you to try to do it and um, see how you feel about it. So this is kind of my why. So I thought about this and I tried to actually start my cleanse a couple of days ago, but I just couldn't get it together. I just couldn't get it and it was because I hadn't actually sat down and decided my why the reason why I decided to do it so the reason why um, is, is a number of things some I guess like more not I don't really want to say superficial but we'll say that for lack of a better word and um, also just some more important things so for me um, one reason why I like to kind of clean up my eating or if I do like some type of fast is just a spiritual connection with myself and also just becoming uh, more aware of things and getting clarity so number one um, reason is because I actually I've been stressed and I've been having a lot of stuff going on and I, I feel when I eat clean and I juice and I put good things in my body I, I get the best ideas and I, I can think more clearly and I don't have this fog over me so actually that's my number one reason um, just real quick and simple <laughs> it's normally it just gives me a lot of clarity and I just I just feel better overall and I think a lot of times when we eat processed foods and and things of that nature it can take a toll not only on the body especially if we're not physically active and having enough fruits and, and um, vegetables and enough live foods in us it can just cause a disarray not only in your body and confusion and and just being bogged down but um, just mentally, you know, like mental clarity. Um, another thing I'll just like to point out as well is whenever you're constantly eating these these horrible foods, <laughs> these foods that aren't as good for you, processed foods, um, foods that, you know, we as humans have tampered with before it gets to your table. Um, it takes your body normally about, what, two and a half to three hours to digest whatever. They say don't eat two hours before you go to bed, but, like, who really listens to that nowadays? It's just almost impossible. Um, and people aren't taught that, so it's not that they can't do it. It's just that that's not something that's taught. So your body is spending, like, half of the time that we're sleeping. Because what the average person, be real, you sleep probably six hours. You don't get eight hours. You sometimes get five. So think about it. Your body's working on breaking down and digesting your food for half of the time that you're sleeping. So are you really resting? Is your body really resting? No. So sometimes you have to take time out and actually give your body a chance to heal and rest. So some of my friends will be like, oh, black people don't do that, which is some ignorant ass shit. I love y'all, but come on. And then um, <laughs> other people would just be like, oh, I can't do that. Or you're not eating anything or you're starving yourself. And it's just the opposite. You know, a lot of times you're eating all this, the steak and the chicken and the cheeseburgers and the cheese fries and and the ice creams and things are perfect because it has that great combination of salt and sugar, sweet and fat that, that keeps you coming back. <clears throat> but it's not nutrient-dense food. So it's like you're obese or you're overweight or maybe you're not there yet. You're just not as healthy as you could be, but you're not getting the nutrients that you need. You're eating, but it's not. it doesn't supply you with everything that you need. So um, that's just my opinion. I'm not a doctor by any means or anything of that nature. I'm just letting you know my experiences. And um, for someone who has lost about 65 pounds, has gained <clears throat> and also has maintained keeping over 40 pounds off since then, 
I'm just letting you know my experiences and things that, you know, have worked for me. And juicing has helped not only with boosting uh, maybe a weight loss um, journey back up or restarting, reboosting, but also adding the clarity that I needed to stay on track. So that's what this video is. It's pretty long, but <laughs> I'm just being completely honest and just letting you guys know my experience and how it's worked for me. So, <coughs> y'all, <laughs> um, that's all Water Plush was not, not the business. So I have an Instagram and I posted a recipe a couple of days ago of what I made and I'm trying to actually find it because um, I don't know what I put in this last night but it's actually pretty good so I made this one last night and I put it in the freezer and just kind of let it melt down a little bit um, I'm just gonna try to show you guys a picture from my Instagram so that you can see what I put in it and um, just to let you know this one has more veggies it has kale um, parsley cucumber and apple so that's it I hope you guys can see it <clears throat> and if you want to follow me on Instagram it's cutie fit with two Z's there you go and um it's pretty late in the day I I, I don't know I just had a rough night so I, I woke up kind of late but um I'm just about to eat that so we'll drink this it's gonna be my first thing for today and then um yeah that'll be it but I just really wanted to come see you guys to give you my why the reason why I'm doing this and I promise my next videos won't be so serious but I just kind of had a rough morning with the saltwater flesh so I'm not feeling I guess like the best um yeah and I guess like the last things that I, I didn't answer like the superficial it's not really superficial I think it's just wanting to look good really and wanting to feel good and have energy so you know that it's just a spiritual connection it allows you to have clarity and focus and it gives your body a time to rest and actually recover from the damage that we put our bodies through. Because let's say damage, toxins in the air, toxins in our soap and the things that we cook with and the oils that we use. So that's my number one. <laughs> number two and beyond, um, whenever I juice, I feel amazing. My skin clears up. I feel like my hair is better. My nails are pretty healthy, but they grow longer. Um... I like to do yoga, so I feel like I'm I'm lighter. It gives me a lighter feeling and um, gives me more energy and uh, things of that nature. So I really love it for those purposes. And as well as just feeding my body. Like, after you get through three days, if you get through three days, then you can do whatever. And I say that because that's the hardest day for me, day three. So that'll be Sunday for me. It, it's, it's hardest because that's normally when I have the most cravings. And it's like, <clears throat> it's like things in particular, like, oh my God, I haven't had a corn dog since like last year at the fair, but that'll be the day that I want a corn dog or like steak or something like that. It'll be, that'll be the day that I want steak. And like, I don't know if you know me, you know I, how I feel about PETA and they sent me this thing with these cows and I watched this video. So ever since then, I haven't really wanted steak or burgers and it's been a while and I cried like it was crazy. But anyway, um, <laughs> so <clears throat> you'll have these particular cravings and um yeah man it's it's just crazy but once you get through day three and day four like I feel like it's just smooth selling it reminds me of when I run like I can run but the first two miles maybe even two and a half is like oh my gosh but after I get through that if I keep going then I'm fine it's just it's weird it's like a a stepping stone so my advice to you is if you decide to do a juice feast or cleanse or anything like that um definitely be prepared mentally definitely find out your why because if you don't have a why then it's hard for you to continue to going if you don't have a foundation if that makes sense so this video i'm so sorry if it's boring but it, it just um was really important for me to make this video because it's very important for you to have a why the reason why you want to do a fast or a cleanse and it's fine if you want to do it to jumpstart your workout plan it's fine if you want to do it just because everyone else is doing it and you want to check it out that's fine but that's your why that's your foundation and just stick with it that's it so um <clears throat> that is everything and I'm so sorry to keep coughing um if you watched the previous video you know why so yeah that's it I'm gonna go ahead and drink this uh,
you should um, probably drink what am I gonna say you should probably drink um, a cup every three and a half hours at the most um, two hours is perfectly fine and then whenever you drink the juice you should drink double the amount of water after it because that'll kind of keep you on track um, if you know me you know that I'm doing actually a gallon a day challenge so that makes it really good <coughs> so sorry <coughs> y'all Oh my god, I don't even know when I post this, but I do because I want to be honest to let you guys know my experience. So, um, I don't want to talk about my weight. I hate talking about my weight. Um, it's a battle sometimes. But, I'll go ahead and make a video and I'll just show you. Why well, I guess I'll just show you on the next video. So, that is today. Today is Thursday, August the 27th, 2015. And I am doing a juice feast. So... Wish me luck, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribing if you have already.